Hello class, my name is Liz Cannon. Welcome to HIT 211, Medical Legal Aspects and in Health Information Management. Um, our CRN this time is 22678. It is spring of 2022, and this is an eight week course. So we start on March 21st and we end on May 15th. I quickly wanted to take you through our syllabus just so you could see what we have going on this semester. Um, and let you know a couple of things as we go. So here we go. First of all, just so you know, the course delivery is online. We're an online class only, so we won't ever meet in person. Um, again, my name is Liz Cannon. My email address is right here. It's ecannon at pima.edu. I don't have office hours or an office location, so if you need to meet with me or have any questions, please email me and we can set up an appointment to talk via text or online or via email, what have you. Um, a little bit about the course, we are doing a regulatory requirements and healthcare and application of general principles of law and health information management in legal proceedings. Um, we're going to include the legal system, the court system, principles of liability, patient record requirements, and things like that. Uh, prerequisites for this class are HIT 100 and 105. Um, you've probably seen this before, but we are in an eight-week course. It is three credits. Expect it to take you an average of 17 hours, between 15 and 21 a week, for a total of 135 hours um, in this eight weeks. You will be submitting all of your assignments here via D2L. Um, you do have a required textbook for this class. It's called the Fundamentals of Law for Health Informatics and Information Management. This is what it looks like. You can get that at the um, library. Um, you will have some learning outcomes and some performance objectives. I'll let you read through those, but you know, I, we expect that you're going to learn some stuff in this class. I hope you enjoy it. Um, some of my policies, again, we're going to use DT, D2L to submit all of our work. Um, the syllabus is going to be your roadmap for success. Also, you're going to be using a lot the schedule of work, which I will also share with you soon. Um, that's going to tell you your grade determination, course calendar, due dates, grading policies, and everything else. If you need to withdraw from this class, remember that it's an eight-week class, and so that window to withdraw is pretty small. Um, so if you get started and think you're not going to be able to finish, try and get that done as soon as possible because I won't be giving incompletes. I expect all the work to be turned in on time, so latest assignments are not accepted. The only possible... Uh, exception to that is if we have emailed before any late assignment is due and we have had a discussion about why it's going to be later when it needs to be turned in. Um, you are required to participate in this class um, and so there's that. And then also I have some student resources, some policies. Uh, my department head, her name is Kelly O'Keefe. Her email is in here with her phone number as well if you aren't able to get a hold of me or aren't satisfied with the answers that I'm giving you. Um, and then the access and disability resources is in here as well. We're, or I, I should say, I'm very well aware that we are in a time of COVID and things are strange. And so I just wanna remind you that we're here to support you. Um, let me know if there's anything that we can, that we can do. We do have the student wellness assistance um, that you can speak with a counselor anytime during the, during the day or during the week. If you have any questions, again, the best way to reach me is via email. I am ecannon at pima.edu. Thank you.